Well, let's talk about the great American credit indoctrination system. I don't think I've ever brought this up before, but we're going to have a little conversation about how bad and dangerous it is to you and your financial health and what you can do to get out of it because the syndrome is deep. What I want you to do is go ahead and grab 30 days to 2500, my free side hustle business building course, and also get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mindset, pimping your mind for success course as well. So together we can start making some money and build some businesses. Let's go ahead and talk about this great American credit indoctrination system. It is so invasive that it literally happens to you before you graduate high school. What do you do? You graduate high school, you go to college, but before you go to college, you must get student loans. You don't even have a job and you could get tens of thousands of dollars up to hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt and you don't even have a job. This right here programs you to start using debt for everything. This is the first step. This is the first nail in the house. This is the first indoctrination programming. Then you go to college, then you get out of college, you graduate college. Then you go out and you buy a car and because you are now in six months after graduating college, you're gonna to have to be paying these student loans debts. You're looking at your balance sheet of what the money you have coming in so you can afford, I could pay X, Y, Z for this car payment. So you go out and get a car payment. So now you have student loan payments, now you have a car payment. Oh, wait a minute, while you were in college, you got credit cards. They were real easy to get, you got credit cards. You, you still didn't have a job but they gave you a credit card, sometimes with a juicy limit. So now you have been programmed and conditioned to use credit for everything. There is no way that you would try to do anything after this indoctrination and programming without credit. When I was talking about getting into real estate investing about two years ago, because you know there's been many things that have happened and I haven't pulled a trigger, and I just made the reference that I was going to pay cash for my rental property. You would have thought that I had said cuss words. You would have thought that I had cussed Jesus Christ himself out. I had people in the comments. I had people emailing me. No, 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 no. Don't do that, man. What you do is take the money that you're going to buy one house and you take that money and put it as down payment and you get loans. I was just floored that people don't know how to operate from a cash position. It is crazy. And this is one of the things, because right now the great American credit indoctrination system is harming people who bought houses for Airbnb, it's harming the average American, it's harming people who built up credit obligations to build empires on someone else's beach. You got a lot of Airbnb, you got a lot of Amazon FBA people who are taking it on the chin because they got in too much debt and now they can't service that debt because Amazon has cut them off. Airbnb people. And then we have the average American who has a car payment, credit card payments, student loan debts, and no income no more money coming in so now this is how the game is played and this isn't your fault you were pimped out from the beginning you were pimped out in high school this is what you were told to do this is what your mom and dad maybe really did this is what everyone that you knew was doing it everyone has a car note everyone has credit card payments everyone has student loan payments that's just being normal it was sold to you to entrap you. And I'm here to deliver you from the American credit indoctrination system because I too was victim of the indoctrination system once in my life. It got, it had a hold of me when I was married. It, it had a hold of me. I was doing things the average American way. I financed two cars. 
I, I remember when I was a spec four in the military and I got my first visa was Citibank. Then I got my second visa from First Union Bank, which doesn't exist anymore. And I, I, I felt like the man. I had these little, two little pieces of plastic in my pocket that represented increased spending power. I could just slap it on the counter, get what I wanted. Then I got a Macy's department store card, which was one of the stupidest things I ever did. I was deep in it. I, like I said, it ain't your fault. You have been groomed to be pimped. You have been taught to be pimped. This isn't your fault. You didn't know any better. This is why I'm having this conversation with you. We're, we're having this two way conversation because I'm trying to educate you on how this is harmful. And now that we have this pandemic, you see how bad it is because there are many people who are going to file bankruptcy. There are many businesses that are going to file bankruptcy. There are many people who are in harm's way because of the American, the great American credit indoctrination system. They're just going to be messed up for many, many years. Some people will commit suicide over this because that's how bad it's going to be for them. These people are going to lose their houses. They're going to lose their cars. They're going to lose any sense of economic stability. It's about to go out the window. So what does one do? versus being pimped out by the great American credit indoctrination system. Glad you asked that question. We're about to talk about it. First thing is you should go ahead and get my money management course because it will help deliver you from that. Because the first thing is, and no one has ever taught you this unless you had a really wise parent or grandparent who sat you down and said, Hey, this is what you need to do with your money. You got to optimize and handle your money better. What does this mean? You won't be financing cars. You will not be having credit card debt. You will not be taking out student loans. Because at that point, when you graduate high school, you are clean. You don't have all these obligations. You have none of them. But the first thing you do is go to college and you get loaded up. And that is the first hook in your chin. So go ahead, get my money management course. It's going to deliver you this. And also, here's some tips in the meantime. Number one, you need to live well within your budget. Like, I know there are some people who make $3,000 a month and they spend $2,800 and they feel that's success. That's actually kind of close to failure because you only have $200 per month, free cash flow, $2,400 a year. That's not a lot of money. What I'm talking about, go over to Savage Finance. I've got a few videos that talk about it. You're, you should be living on 25% of your income. I know that sounds fantastical. I know that sounds crazy, but you should be living on 25% of your income and having 75% available for business building and investment. How do we get there? Good question. Depends upon you and what you want to do because one of the things that you've got to do, and I know many people don't want to hear this, like, I don't want to start a business. I want to play the stock market. I want to do Forex. I don't want to extend myself for whatever reason. Let that go. Change your mindset. Because uh, right now in a Facebook group, I had someone who was like, who wanted to, because right now, if you didn't know, we're having a 30 days to $2,500 challenge. This Facebook group and everything, if you go ahead, you'll get an email from me and I'll let you know what it's about. And someone asked, like, could I do the stock market <clears throat> as a 30 day to $2,500 challenge? This is kind of part of the great American credit indoctrination system. When you get that first credit card and they give you money to spend and you just have to pay it back because they're trusting you that you're going to be a good credit risk. Part of the fascination with the stock market and Forex and stuff is all you do is just get money. You don't have to really do anything else. You have to learn how to read charts. You have to learn how to play the game. But you don't really have to serve your fellow man. It is ultimately rent seeking. You get a whole lot of money for not increasing wealth or doing anything. And that's not what 30 days to $2,500 is based upon. It's based upon service because 
Let's take Forex and day trading. Literally, if you're going to be successful, you're going to take losses for two to five years. And after you take your losses and you've got your patterns down, then you can start making money. Let me tell you, if you were to start a small side business that only made 500 bucks a month, we're not saying a thousand, we're not making two, just consistently made you 500 bucks a month. That's $6,000. That's $12,000 in two years. That's $30,000 in five years. Cash money that you can spend. And then at the five year mark, you could probably scale this business up to where you could be making two, three, four, five thousand dollars a month. Same time, totally different results. But creating your own economy ain't that sexy for a lot of people. It's not because you've been programmed to operate on credit. You have not been programmed to be a self-sufficient create your own economy creator and producer. You've been programmed to be pimped. You've been programmed to be slaughtered like sheep at the market. You've been programmed to be totally overwhelmed with debt. See that as normal, have sleepless, stressful nights because all of your neighbors are having the same nightmare because you've been programmed. What if I told you that you could have a life where you barely use debt? I know it sounds fantastical. I know you're shaking your head. I know people who bought their home, the house they live in and paid cash for it. I know people who pay cash for their cars. I know people like this. It is possible if you adjust your mindset and let the American credit indoctrination system go, which is going to be hard because you've been indoctrinated since high school. And if you're 30 years old, you've been indoctrinated for 14 years. That's a long, long time. That's a long, long time. And let's talk about before the pandemic. We had 7 million people who were late on their car notes. We had X millions of people who were late on their credit cards. So even before the pandemic, this thing was dangerous. It was causing a lot of pain. It was causing a lot of harm. And also another symptom of the great American credit indoctrination system, because it kind of goes in hand in hand. 52, 53% of people in America only make $33,000 a year or less. So you have people who have low income who are being sold these car payments, being sold these credit card deals, being sold these student loans, being sold these debt consolidation loans. So essentially you're selling your future for the here and now, and you're paying an, a, a massive price. The interest on these car loans, the interest on these credit card loans, the interest on these student loans is eating you alive. It is literally eating your financial future to nothing. Do you know if you buy and finance seven to 10 cars in your lifetime, this could delay retirement 15 years or eliminate it? That's how much money you lose financing cars. But no one's telling you this. And because you've been indoctrinated, you've been programmed, you really don't think anything of it. You're like, well, the car note's a little high, you know, but I got this job and every month I'm making my payments. I'm, I'm doing what I need to do. I'm not behind. I don't have a lot of money left over at the end of the month. You're living file. You're living bad. Let's get back to the 25% solution. I know that sounds fantastical. I know that sounds scary, but I know you can do it if you focus on it, because if you're living on 25% of your money, you're not going to be indoctrinated. You're not going to have all of these problems. You're not going to have all these situations because I don't say this to be glib, but if America had the proper financial literacy and fi proper financial programming, this pandemic thing would have been seriously serious, still serious, but we wouldn't have had the economic carnage that we have because with the forbearance, we're going to have people who are going to lose their homes. We have restaurants 
owners who like literally is predicted that 25 to 30 percent of restaurants will not reopen because of the high operating costs. We have so many examples of where the American credit indoctrination system is leaving such a deep and deadly scar. I want you guys to be better than that. And if you're, in, if you're one of the people who still have your job, you need to start digging your way out of it because it's gonna be harmful to you and your economic future. It's not gonna get any better. Right now, banks are cutting you off. And see, this, this is something else too. Because there's a lot of people who went out and got multiple credit cards for funding and they've been cut off and they're freaking out because they don't have no cash. They have no money in the bank. They don't even have their first emergency fund nor their second emergency fund nor a family operating account. They have none of that. They just had credit and it was ripped from them. And they're acting like drug addicts. If you ever seen a drug addict who was feeding for some crack? This is how they're acting because they they're addicted to credit and they don't know how to properly. And also this is part of the reasons because if you have a business where you consistently have to get funding to keep running your business, that is telling you there's something wrong with your business model or there's something wrong with your spending patterns. If you have a profitable business, you shouldn't have to keep borrowing money. I understand, you know, sometimes when you don't need money, it is good to borrow money to establish this relationship with the bank. However, there are many people who are not about trying to establish a relationship with the bank. They keep borrowing money because they need it. And it's this big cycle of debt, this debt cycle. And the thing is, it's starting to tighten up, it's starting to get real, real, real tight. If you run a business and you have good cash flow and you have something called profit, you should put some of that profit away in another account. So when times like this happen that you won't be devastated. But the great American credit indoctrination system is very harmful. As you see right now, because right now we have people who cannot pay their mortgages. They can't pay their car payments. They can't pay their credit cards. They can't pay their bills. And this is going to create a lot of economic uncertainty for many, many people for years to come. This is like for our great grandparents, how the Great Depression was a defining moment. This will be a defining moment for us. We're going to be in a world of hurt because no one said this is how you should manage your money. No one ever put down the rules to managing money. And no one ever told you that you should live on 25% of your income and save 75%. I know that sounds crazy. That's like crazy talk, but that's what you should be doing. And I've got the tools and I got some like, well, I'm giving you 30 days to 2,500. If you do the course, you will make money. I know a lot of you are just downloading it cause it's free and you have no intentions of ever doing it. That's sad. That, that's really, really sad. But for those of you who are doing it, Keep doing it, keep doing the work, keep learning the lessons, keep building, start to increase your income and also get the money management course so you can optimize your income. Every day I have Facebook friends who are putting up there. I remember this one chick, she actually did a post. She needed someone to pay her electric bill because she didn't have any money. Right now, the great American credit indoctrination, that, that's an extension. It's like if I get in trouble, Someone's gonna help me out. Someone's gonna come to my, save me. Someone's gonna come around the corner, galloping up on trigger, long ranger, shooting guns. I'm gonna save you. Except many of these people, they will not be saved. There's no one that's coming. What's gonna happen is what's gonna happen and it's gonna be bad. That's the tragedy of the great American credit indoctrination system. Because if you're dependent on credit, I guarantee you with these new, this economic environment with the banks and their predictive analysis software, they're going to be tightening up on you. And when you think you got X amount of credit on your credit card and you go to your app and you see, oh, my credit limit's been cut in half or they completely cut me off. That's happening across America with alarming speed.
because so many people don't know how to handle their money. So many people are in such a bad economic situation. So do not continue to be a slave to the great American credit indoctrination system. Use credit as a tool. There's good debt and there's bad debt. If you have debt on an asset that produces cash, that's good debt. If you have debt at 18% interest rate because you wanted to listen to a new stereo, that's dumb debt. That's stupid debt. Because you just literally paid two to three times more for that stereo than if you had paid cash for it. So one of the things I want you guys to understand is declare your liberation from the great American credit indoctrination system. Because if you don't, at some point, it's going to be a problem. Right now, we have something that has never happened before. We have people going into retirement with mortgage debt. That never happened before. People, old school, they paid their houses off. They didn't have any debt. The house was paid off. They didn't have any credit card debt. And they were able to live on their meager pensions and Social Security. Not anymore. We have more seniors than ever filing bankruptcy because of the Great American Credit Indoctrination Syndrome. Also, we had a lot of seniors before this pandemic thing happened who were going back to work. I remember reading the story of this 90-something-year-old man who climbed up into a truck so he could support his wife who was gravely ill. This is what's happening here in America. This, this happened before the pandemic. And this is why I don't believe that the, the, there's, you know, the economy is super rugged. So go ahead and start to free yourself from the great American credit indoctrination system. Go ahead, get my money management course. It's going to teach you how to optimize your money. And it's actually going to pay for itself because once you start to optimize your money and segment your money, you will have more money. Then you get 30 days to 2,500 and you make more money. So you start managing the money that you have better then you make more money, more money, more money, more money, less stress, better life, more options. That's what you can have. All right. So there's another video right here. You should be able to check it out and I will see you guys next time.